Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! You have to do the hand movements. Hand movements, hand movement. <laughs> Ooh, there's the flash. It's flashing? Wow. You guys got it going on. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm love really it. excited. I love graphics. Love it. It's always a good day when there's graphics. <laughs> Does it get a fist pump, though? Fist bump. Yeah, nice. Double fist bump. Double. <laughs> you want to do the uh, Jersey Shore? Jersey Shore? <laughs> You watch that show, Jack? If Justin's watching, he'll recognize this from Jersey Shore. Jersey. 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 Jersey Shore. Anyways. Um, we have, it's an exciting day today. We have a, actually have a birthday that's happening today. <laughs> that's funny. And this is um, actually, it sounds like he might be an Irish French person. It's Pat mm -hmm. de Gagne. Degangi. And he's 25 years Degangi. old today. Happy Degangi. birthday, Happy Pat. Happy birthday, Pat. It's also Jared's father's birthday today. That is Jared's father. That's Jared's father. But he's 25? <laughs> Hi, Jared's father. That's funny. He's 25 today, apparently. That's hilarious. He's, who told me he was 25? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Happy birthday, show. Pat. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> is he 50? He's 56. Happy birthday. <coughs> oh. What? Jack is just lying left, right, and center back here. I, I apologize, <laughs> Pat. He's probably oh, 39. Funny. <laughs> like I know. I know. Jared, Jared is 12. No one really knows how old Jared is. But anyways, happy birthday to Jared's papa. There you go. We also have <laughs> bingo winners. We had bingo last night. And th was this the first time ever there for the first game, the $1,000 full house, there were seven winners? <laughs> They're $1,000 winners, seven of them? No, seven. Split oh. They split 1000 They split, oh, okay. Um, so Donna Pearson was number one. She bought her ticket at uh, Husky East Side. Kathy Canfield, she got her ticket at Luby's on 9th Street. Chris Jones at Chipman Street, Husky, right? Kathy Canfield, oh, there's two Kathy Canfields. She, she did. Double wow. winner, double winner. Wow, double that was a winner. lucky day. Luck of the Irish. Um, Stacy O'Sullivan, she bought hers at Luby's 9th Street. Julie Sajewski, Sajewski, sorry, Julie. Um, she bought her ticket in Norman. And number seven, Johan Haleso at Co op. Johan is John. 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 I'm just like racking up the points <laughs> over here. Um, culture, what culture we have. Here. Yeah, the second, Johan. you can read this one because you're friends. Melody Boucher, and she bought her ticket at Johnson's Pharmacy. And she was the sole winner of the second game, which was also for $1,000. Congratulations, Melody. Melody, I like that. Also, name. we forgot a birthday. Today? Yeah. <gasps> Kaylee Mattischuk. Happy birthday, Kaylee. And Bryn Canfield. Bryn Canfield. Oh, it's gonna, it's yeah. gonna be lots a fun of birthdays. Night. Look, happy we're birthdays. just all over the place. Happy bingo, happy birthday. <laughs> um, and then the third game for three hundred dollars, the letter X went to Evelyn Lenz, huh? and she bought her tickets at Chipman Street Husky. Awesome! Congratulations. Have you ever played bingo, though? I have played bingo with my uh, my uh, my aunt Martin and uh, my grandma. We used to go play bingo in uh, in Ramuski. And uh, it was quite the night. They were crazy ladies. Yeah. They would freak out as soon as they, you know, say B, uh, you know, something, and they'd have their pads there. Yeah. And they had my grandma had one here and one there, so she'd had two there and then two here, and then she'd go. Yeah, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, it was hilarious. Is that hilarious. Grandma Yvette? No, that's my other grandma. Oh. Laurence. Laurence. Grandma Casey. Grandma Casey. Yeah. Aww, that's quite cute. the mad woman, playing bingo. <laughs> oh yeah. My grandma was She's like crazy. really bingo crazy too. She would have like it's as quite a sport. As far as their arms could reach, bingo cards. Yeah, that's it. And I'd have three, and she'd go like all yep. the way through them, and then still dab the one I missed on the card. Wow, she it's a lot of fun. It is. It's a lot of fun. We should play because we can still play. Jack yes. gave us the go ahead. Really? Yeah. Nice. Jack. And actually, good going. Because we haven't mentioned yet, this particular bingo is being put on by Safeway, but it's. The proceeds are going to TA, right, Suze? And they're having bingo parties at TA school. They're opening up the cafeteria. Next Wednesday, Next Wednesday is when it actually starts. So we could go to TA in the cafeteria, and it would be like good a bingo time. party. Bingo you can party. Also go to the Legion here in Kuwaitin. Wow. Or you can go to the Legion here in Kuwaitin. Interesting. Really, eh? 
awesome. Well, maybe we'll do that next Wednesday. Yeah. That'd be fun. That's super fun. This chair made for busy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just be like, I'm going to be missing. Yeah. You're always busy with jam night on Wednesday. Yes. It was quite a night last night. Quite was a night. it? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Did and no, it didn't come out, but it's coming out tonight. Yeah, green beer. But it was just a great night all, uh, all around. Great so, night. well, and on the drive here, Dave, of course, runs the Wednesday <coughs> Jam at the Cornerstone, and he was telling me about some of our wonderful local talent that was out and about last night, ripping it on stage. And do you want to say a little bit about Mr. Um, Cole Zablowski came uh, and played last night. I don't know if you guys know Cole. He's just uh, he's 15 year old student. Um, played last, last night and blew the roof off the joint. It was amazing. Like I, if I didn't look, I wouldn't even know this kid was 15. It was just so pro, yeah. you know? Um, I, I was, I'm very, very, very proud of uh, Cole, if you're uh, watching. I'm very proud of you. Keep <laughs> it up. Yeah. He's so nice. good. He's just so good. It was very impressive. There's, yes. You have to get him on the show, most definitely. There we go. He can be yeah. one of our Friday it was a great night. entertainment. Mm -hmm. Thanks for people to come out and support local talent too. Absolutely. It's a great thing. And there is a wealth of local mm -hmm. talent Tons. in this place. Awesome. Um, I have a giveaway. We have a giveaway. Okay. This book, Feasting and Fasting, Canada's Heritage Celebrations. Of course, the author, Dorothy Duncan, was on the show. Um, this book is full of recipes from various occasions and celebrations within Canada. So it's all about our ancestors that of course, came over to Canada and the recipes they brought and how they <laughs> substituted um, some of the, the <clears throat> recipe items they couldn't find in Canada. I bet you there's a so St. Paddy's <clears throat> Day one in there. Very interesting. There's also a St. David's Day, as I was flipping through that. Did Do you, you know anything about St. David? Uh, Not, yes. you. Oh, oh, Not you. Oh. No, I know the other, no, I don't. Oh, well, you should submit a recipe. Did you know that in Israel, I think it is, uh, David is a big name, and McDonald's are called McDavid's. <gasps> really? Ain't that cool. <laughs> Ain't that cool. <laughs> Top of the morning Top to you. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> I think it's cool. That's awesome. So we're <laughs> asking that our viewers submit recipes. You can find us at goodmorningkenora at shaw.ca. Or you can also send them to us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash goodmorningkenora. And we've got three recipes so far. Deep fried cookies, love. Is Deep fried cookies? Yeah. Ooh. So I can't wait to take all these recipes home with me. And we'll be drawing, I have two copies of this book, we'll be drawing for them on Monday. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Ra are we wrapping it? Are we wrapping? <laughs> recap so, of weather? Recap of weather. Beautiful one degree out there today. It's a high of plus four. Mm -hmm. It is supposed to start raining. Really? And then snowing. Oh. But it's, you know, it's high of minus four tomorrow, which isn't bad because the sun will be out. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that'll help start the melt. That's it. Even though um, Sunset Trail riders won't be excited about it. Yeah. Well, it's a perfect night to go out for St. Patrick's Day. Leave it, your cars at yeah. home, take a cab. Exactly. And or, go walk. Out. or walk. Or walk. High of plus six on Saturday. That's very exciting. Very nice. For the ham and egger. Oh, yeah. We never... It's the ham and egger this weekend. Yes. Which is... Why don't you tell everybody about Hockey it? Hockey tournament in Key it's a, it's, a, it's It's a lot of fun. And uh, the winner of the tournament wins uh, 12 eggs and a big ham. Oh. <laughs> it's called the ham and egger. Nice. It's a fun weekend. And you will be? And I will be playing... Uh, I'm, I'm a goalie. Nice. <laughs> I have to play in Winnipeg too that night, boat nights, Friday, Saturday. So I got to play hockey and then go play music in Winnipeg and then drive Saturday, play hockey and then go. And Sunday night too. And Sunday night. Yeah. You're a bit of a big deal. To you? Uh, <laughs> I'm just very, <right>. aww. <laughs> yes, yes. No, you guys, you should have seen how stiff he was last year after Hammond Acre. Like he couldn't even get off the couch. I know, I had to he cancel the sweating. show actually. And he had a fever. He was like, oh my God. Why was that though? I don't, I don't understand why I felt like that. Well, maybe because you hadn't exercised in about eight years. <laughs> you would never tell. Yeah. <laughs> you hide it well. I, 
<laughs> it's time kidding. to go. I'm just <laughs> Have a really good morning, Kenora, and we will be back here it tomorrow. Is it is Friday, TGIF. Megan will be back in the hot seat. Thanks for coming, David Casey. Thanks for having me, Deborah Crookshank. Have a good morning. Good Keep morning, down. Kenora. Flash it, flash it, flash it. Shaw Television and Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Susan LeMay Century 21 Raynard Real Estate for supporting local community programming. Susan LeMay, the real estate lady.